Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you that how I made this digital scale based pre-sized liquid filling machine. We can fill any amount from 50 to 500 grams by using this machine. And we can also remove the weight of container by pressing this button. This is circuit diagram of our project. After making the circuit diagram, I designed a custom PCB. And after designing PCB, I generated Gerber files for PCB fabrication. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, where you can prototype 10 pieces of high quality PCBs within $5 only. To place your order, just log in to their website and make an instant quotation about your PCBs. On the next page, you can change some more PCB parameters. You can choose any color from here for the same price. And after making all these changes according to your requirement, just click on calculate. Now from here, you can choose your country. And from here, you can choose your preferred shipping method. And after that, click on add to the cart. On the next page, you can upload your Gerber files. After uploading your Gerber files, submit your order. After a few days, I received our circuit boards from PCBOA. Here is the box. Now I will open it and show you our new circuit boards. Here is a pen. And these are our circuit boards. As you can see the build quality is great. I ordered black color which looks really cool. So guys here are all the components that are required to complete our this control board circuit. Here are three LEDs, A220 microfarad capacitor, Arduino Nano, BC547 transistor and DAA2 transistor. 2 voltage regulators, LM7805 and LM7812, 4 10 kilo ohm resistors, 1 220 ohm resistor and 4 1 kilo ohm resistors. Some female heater pins, a DC jack and a terminal block, a 12 volt buzzer, 4 tactile switches with their caps and our new circuit board. So now I will solder all these components to our PCB. Ok guys, our component soldering is now complete. Here I collected all the materials that are required to complete this filling machine. This is 1.5 by 3 inches piece of wood. This is 1 kg load cell with this HX711 module. Arduino Nano and some spacers. I 3D printed them. You can even use a piece of wood. These spacers will be connected with this load cell. This is Arduino Nano and this is pipe holding bracket. I also 3D printed it. This is infrared proximity sensor and this is 10 by 10 centimeter piece of hardboard. This is a 9 by 5 inches piece of wood. We will construct our machine on it. And here is a pipe for water and here is a water pump. 
this is 20 into 4 line LCD display and this is our control board circuit and this is a 6 inches long piece of wood now first of all we will fix this load cell on this piece of wood by using this spacer and these two screws the load cell should be fixed like this by keeping this side to the front and the arrow head should be facing downwards uh, place the spacer here and uh, then load cell on it and then put these screws to fix it on the piece of wood and tighten them using a screwdriver now make sure that the front side of the load cell should not touch the surface of the wood now place the other spacer here and uh, this piece of wood here and then fix it using these screws now it should look like this now we need to fix this piece of hardboard here like this so I am using this hot glue gun to fix this piece of hardboard now we need to fix this piece of wood here you can use a long screw to fix this piece here but I am using hot glue and make sure that this piece of wood should not touch this platform and now this pipe holder here using these screws and now this control board circuit will go here I am using hot glue but you can use some screws and put them to these holes to fix it tight on the piece of wood and now the proximity sensor here like this and now the LCD will be connected here like this now we need to connect LCD wires here and this proximity sensor wires here and this module will be connected here like this and make sure that no wires should touch this platform now attach the water pipe here and other side to the pump like this and the water pump wires will be connected here ok guys now it's time to burn the arduino code here i have written arduino code for our machine so after making the machine first of all you will need to calibrate it for calibration take a 50 grams weight and place it on the platform of the machine and then see on the lcd if the lcd is showing exact 50 grams then you will not need to change anything but if the reading is less or more than 50 grams then you will need to change these numbers increase or decrease these numbers until you get exact 50 grams reading on the lcd after calibration you will need to adjust zero error to remove the zero error set an amount from machine and fill it into the container after filling watch on the screen and notice that if the filled value is less than or more than set point value then you will need to increase or decrease this number accordingly you can get more information about the code in video description now attach the arduino to the control board circuit and connect it with a 15 volt dc power supply source ok guys so here i made a final setup for testing this is a bowl of water and uh, here i have small containers 
the limit of this machine is from 50 grams to 500 grams so now let me power it on okay so here are four buttons on the control board circuit this is start button uh, this is tear button and uh, this is down and up button we can set the amount of liquid that you want to fill by pressing these two buttons if we press a button single time only one increment will happen like this but if we long press the button fast increments will be happen as you can see Now for example if we want to fill 200 grams so first of all we need to set 200 from here as you can see 200 is set from here now we need to place the container on the platform now as you can see machine is showing container weight here if you want to remove this weight from the filling amount so you can press the tear button as you can see now machine removes the container weight from the filling amount so now we can press the start button you can see filling percentage over here now if you press the start button again before removing the container it will give you a warning it is saying that place new jar so after removing the filled jar again if we press the start button it will give us an error that no bottle or jar here so now i am placing a larger container here and we will fill a larger amount of liquid in it for example 350 grams This is a universal machine so we can set any amount of liquid that we want to fill. For example if we want to fill 75 grams we can set from here and press start button. As you can see exact 75 grams are filled. To show you the accuracy of machine I placed a digital scale here. So now first of all we remove the weight of empty jar and uh, now I will place this container over here as you can see here 75 grams are shown and exact 75 grams are showing here okay guys now let me tell you that how you can fill hand sanitizer or any gel type liquid using this machine remove the water pump and this pipe and disconnect water pump wires from here and uh, take a solenoid valve and attach it here then place the gel container on a higher place and attach it with solenoid valve using a big pipe and then attach the solenoid valve wires here so when you push the start button solenoid valve will open and the liquid will flow automatically into the container and when it reaches to the set point value solenoid valve will automatically shut off and stop the filling into the container so this is how you can use this machine for a gel type liquid so guys that's it for today's video all necessary information about this project you can find in the video description i hope you will like my this video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe